If you've only got three to four hours per week that you can dedicate to your training, but you still wanna get jacked, here's how you do it. Now, this isn't some 30 minute hit workout BS that's actually horrible for building muscle. These are legit ways to grow in a shorter period of time. Now I'm feeling pretty generous, so I'm also gonna give you a completely free three-day program that utilizes everything we're about to go through at the end of the video. So stick around. The first thing I recommend doing is cutting your weekly sessions down to three times per week. If you're that busy that you can't find three 45 to 60 minute blocks per week to train, then there's just no hope. The second thing I recommend doing is making 90% of your workouts compound lifts. A compound lift is simply when you use more than one muscle group, aka a multi-joint movement. So bench press, pull-ups, squats, things like that. The reason that you're gonna do this is pretty simple. They'll provide the best bang for buck in terms of overall muscle growth, especially when you're short on time because they're using multiple muscle groups at once. So when you've only got three sessions per week at 45 to 60 minutes, this is a must. Now, the third thing that we're gonna do if you really struggle for time is we're going to lower your volume, but increase your intensity. Now all that simply means is we're gonna do less sets, but we're gonna push them way closer to failure or to failure. For example, instead of doing four sets of 10 where you leave a few reps in the tank on every single set, you might cut that back down to two sets, but you're gonna to go to complete failure or just about on both of those sets. One of my favorite ways to do this is with a maximum set and then a back off set. And this is basically where you just have two sets like we just spoke about. The first set may be an all out heavy set. So maybe six to 10 reps as heavy as you can possibly go. And then the second set, you're gonna back off the weight by maybe 10 to 15% and you're gonna to go to absolute failure on that set. Now if done properly that second set, you should be able to get a little bit more reps than the first one, obviously because you've dropped the weight back a little bit. So try this method on hack squats next time you work out and I am positive that you'll fucking hate me. The fourth thing is to use training intensifiers. Now training intensifiers are simply just a good way to get a lot of volume done in a short amount of time. Some examples of these are drop sets, rest pause sets, giant sets, things like that. One of these methods that I would highly recommend using in your training if time is the limiting factor is opposing muscle group supersets. The reason I'm a big fan of opposing muscle group supersets is because you won't work the fatiguing muscle as much because it's not like you're supersetting a bicep with a bicep, that's just gonna cook you. So they're the four main methods I highly recommend using when you are short on time. But what about programs and exercises? As always, there is never going to be one best program or one best exercise that you need to do to build muscle, but here are some recommendations and some guides you can use. And of course, my free program for you. Now these are all training three times per week. Full body three times per week, a push pull leg split, and then the third day being an upper, lower, and then a lagging body part day, or the muscle group you most want to develop. Exercise ideas. Legs, I would highly recommend having a squat variation, a hip hinge variation, and a lunge slash split squat variation. Back, I would highly recommend having a vertical pull variation and a horizontal pull slash row variation. Chest, a pressing variation and maybe a fly variation. Shoulders, a pressing variation and a lateral raise variation. The rear delts will get hit on the pull movements, but I would highly recommend trying to fit something in if you can. And then arms, calves and abs, wherever you can fit them in. So here's your free program to try and also a few other considerations that you might wanna keep in mind. So the program is gonna be a three day full body split program. Ideally, you'd have a rest day in between each day. So maybe you work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, something like that. Now keep in mind with this program, I have left most of the supersets out because I don't know your level of experience or your fitness level, but if you do wanna make these workouts even a little bit shorter, then you can superset most of these exercises together. I didn't give rest time because I want you to take as much as you can afford to take on your heavy compound movements, and then on the isolation movements, in between about 45 to 90 seconds rest should be more than enough. Good luck on that last giant set. These are what I like to call character builders. They're good for the soul, but they hurt like a motherfucker. Add in some calf and ab work wherever you can find the time, but that's a pretty good guide to get you started. Now is the basics and that will keep you in the gym in under three hours per week. Your nutrition is of course the other biggest determining factor whether this short three day style per train will work for you. And because time is something that you lack, lucky for you, I just released this video right here showing you exactly how I meal prep my entire week's worth in under an hour. It also gets me 200 grams of protein in per day. Check it out.